what's up guys this is will and i'm back with another video and today i want to take a look at the microsoft surface go after using this device for one week so i want to talk about uh what i think about using the device uh so far i want to give you some of my thoughts and opinion on it and uh just tell you what i think about it man so as you can see i don't have the microsoft uh type cover for it I'm using just a regular Bluetooth uh, keyboard, uh, just a little cheap keyboard that you can pick up, and I'm using a mouse for it. Uh, don't have the pen as well, but this works out, that combination works out for me well right there. I do think that uh, if you pick this device up, uh, I think that you need the pen for it because sometimes uh, you have to get into some tight spaces there, and the pen or stylus would help. So. Uh, other than that, uh, it's been working great. One thing I like about this device is how portable it is. Uh, it's very small, as you can see. Very compact, very light, 1.1 pound. And uh, it's easy to throw in your bag and keep it moving. So if you had, it has great build quality, premium build quality, quality as well. If you've had any of the other Surface devices, uh, this has the same build quality and I like devices that don't have the glass back on them uh, very solid feeling no creaks or anything has a nice kickstand here or a hinge that lowers to 165 degrees as you can see so it gets pretty low and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break either feels pretty good uh, feels pretty solid and sturdy also has a uh, slot right here for uh, micro for expansion on your storage uh, also I have the one the 8 gigabyte 128 gigabytes of storage version version there are, there's also a 4 gigabyte 8 uh, 4 and a 64 gigabyte of storage uh, version as well uh, I decided to pick this one up uh, because of the extra storage and the extra RAM that this has so it ha also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack also has the type c charging port which can also be used for your uh, video out uh, and also can be used for data data however you want to pronounce that word and charging as well like i said uh will charge uh it charges well on it i had no problem with it charging you also have your proprietary charger right there with charges really fast 15 minutes and you can get a lot of time i think about three hours worth of strain time after 15 minutes got your pogo pins here for uh your type cover if you decide to get that and on the top right here you got your volume up and down and your power button uh like i said it's not very thick very light 1.1 pound uh here's something out of that i like a lot right here check this out Windows Hello, recognize my face just that quick and we in. Really like that, how fast that, that works on this device. Uh, you got a 10.1 inch, uh, what they're calling a Pixel Sense touchscreen display. It's uh, 1800 by 1200, 217 PPI, 3.2 aspect ratio. Uh, the colors look good on it. Uh, a lot of people complain about these bezels around the outside of it. To me, it makes it easier when you want to hold it in your hand. And, uh, hold it like that. You got somewhere to put your hands. I know bezels are out these days, but uh, it's a nice touch for me. I like it. Uh, the colors on the, the display look as, as good to me. Now, these are all my opinions as they do on my iPad 9.7 Pro. Uh, so I have no problems with the display. Uh, the touch sense of temperature on it is great. Sometimes a little bit of lag with the keyboard popping up, but the keyboard works great on it. Uh, no problem with the keyboard. Uh, and it could be just my, my hands, you know, big hands trying to, trying to uh, touch the display. That's why I said a, I think a pen would, would work great with this device as well. So uh, it also has two stereo speakers here in this area right here the speakers okay they're not just okay they, they're kind of tinny sounding but uh they put out sound where you can definitely hear 
you know what you what you're listening to <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the cameras now this has a 5 megapixel front facing camera and also has an 8 megapixel camera on the back uh, I think the cameras on this are pretty good I, I put out a video and I'll try and link it down below uh, of some of the footage off of both of them the front and the, and the rear and not too bad for a tablet I, I think they, they did pretty good on the on the cameras on this uh, also let's talk about the performance on this so this has the 1.6 gigahertz Intel P Pentium Gold 4415Y processor. Now that, I'll set all that to say that this is not an i5, this is not an i7, this is not an i proce uh, processor. It's a pretty decent processor for this device. Uh, you're not going to be editing 4K video on it. You're not going to be playing uh, high resolutions, high high. Uh, power games on it uh, so I see a lot of videos where people saying the device is slow it won't do this and won't do that well I don't think the device was made to do all of that and I for what I use it for it works great uh, I also hear a lot of people saying that if you load Chrome browser on here then it's not going to perform well but I have Chrome browser on here uh, I'll go ahead and open it up and we can take a look at how it performs on on to me and uh let's open up a few tabs here i'll get uh amazon open there let's add another one best buy let's get uh espn and i just want to swap through these and let's get youtube and just see how it works here as you can see they all load up pretty quick like I said, I'm way in the back of my house. Now, I'm going to get one of my videos going here. Uh, let's see. Let's get this one going. Get that video going. Now, I got about four tabs open, which is not a lot, I know. But here it is. Uh, here we are back into, what is this, Amazon. So I want to take a look at uh, today's deal. Let's get that open. Now I want to go back to, let's go back to Best Buy. I want to take a look at something on Best Buy. So let's take a look at these MacBook savings here. Let's get that open. I got that going. So now I'm going back to email, uh, to ESPN. Let's take a look at what Aaron Rodgers reaches on this contract here. And as you can see, I'm browsing through these four so fast. And uh, so I still have my video going here. Let's skip that ad get some volume here watch a little uh, Will H on YouTube and uh, I want to go back to Amazon finish looking at that video still going this is all on Chrome browser here so you can see no stutters no hiccups so I don't know I've had having a great experience with the Chrome browser Microsoft Edge browser works well as well uh, as far as using this thing as a tablet uh, I haven't had the greatest experience out of this. Now, this came with Windows S uh, installed on it from the start. And then I upgraded to Windows Home 10. And uh, it's worked great. You know, with Windows, Windows S, Home S, you can't install anything if it's not within the Microsoft Store. So this is the tablet mode here. Uh, let's load up Netflix. Take a look at how it looks on here. Uh, it's not going to game. You're not going to get this for gaming, per se. Let's get this open. Uh, this is just a movie so you can see how it looks. Uh, full stream playing a Netflix video here. Uh, let's get that all the way open. So there it is. It's kind of a dark scene here. Let's fast forward and maybe get to a light scene. And then I get another one. So anyway, uh, I haven't had any problems with the performance on this. Uh, gaming, I uh, don't have any intense games on here. Got a little bit of uh, <laughs> Candy Crush here, which works well on here. Uh, you can play it in this orientation. And it rotates very fast, as you can see. Uh, 
So if, you know, you can play some light gaming, probably we may be able to do a little bit more than light. I'm not sure because I'm not a gamer. So uh, let's go back home here. Let's get back into the regular windows there. So, okay, so the last thing I want to talk about on this, uh, about this device, guys, are, uh, is the price. So sitting just like it is right now, this device is 550 bucks plus tax. Um, that's not including if you want to get the type cover keyboard and if you want to get the uh, surface pen and also they have a mouse for it as well. So now you, you're kicking that price up to right at 800 bucks for this device. So uh, keyboards like uh, the lowest one is like $99 and then your pen is like 100 bucks. So you're talking seven, eight hundred dollars. Uh, now you're talking you're in a, uh, in the range of uh, some pretty nice PCs, laptops, uh, low end, and you're also talking about iPad uh, area as well. So uh, it's it's going to come come down to if you're looking for if you want a Windows device that's very portable, uh, very compact and portable like that, lightweight. Uh, if you need Windows. If you're looking for a device that's for gaming, uh, well, this device is not going to be the best device for gaming. Uh, but it's, it's like a portable uh, laptop in a way because it's running pretty much full Windows uh, 10 on it, but it's just lacking, a little, uh, lacking some power uh, that you may need for certain things that you want to use. But for me, uh, it's, it's just what I need, what I want to use it for, and I'm enjoying the, the device so far. So... All right, guys, that's my look at the device after having it for one week. Uh, we'll catch y'all in the next video. We're out of here.